When when did you first start coming to Laughing Vikings? That's a good question. What, like three years ago now, maybe? Must be. Yeah, I feel yeah. like you were you were fair. You weren't like first wave OG, but you were right. like pre pretty OG. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I do feel like I've kind of I've been there for a couple transformations of the studio and watched it grow um, and evolve. Um, I think that, yeah, I, I remember I had a last minute self tape that I needed to submit and I just put out a blast on Facebook and a ton of people, um, mutual friends of, of yours and and eyes uh we're like laughing vikings laughing vikings laughing vikings and i checked it out and i love that you could i love how much how many time options you have it helps so much it just takes the pressure off um you know that from like 10 a.m to 10 p.m it's just what works best for the actor and 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 then you go in and it's this super welcoming positive environment um i feel like i've done some of my best best work at laughing vikings it's just you know it's fun and it's safe and, and then it just created like it blossomed into this beautiful new friendship as well and then and yeah now we're having burp competitions and fart offs and doing weird <laughs> things with our fingers who, who would have known um, <laughs> i think you messed my thumb up <laughs> yeah i, I <laughs> you did yeah you sprained it you like live i sprained my thumb on live <laughs> podcast today it's the first you got injured you just got injured podcasting come on cat it's, it's very physical everything. it's a very physical podcast uh, i love i love that you i love that you mentioned the vibe here too and that's something i always have been very conscious of that and i'm conscious of that everywhere i go the vibe like just the mood and energy and i and i feel it just helps if you have a positive and playful like it should be fun and it should be positive and, and it shouldn't feel sterile it shouldn't feel like you got it shouldn't feel like a library like where you go like right. oh my god i gotta be quiet because i'm on a stu in a studio um and i've always like i would often in the early days and even still i'll open the door and just walk in and see like what's in my sight lines where things are on the wall so that if you're if you're coming here for the first time what's the first thing that you see we have tradition of clapping people in and clapping people oh, out Hey, there she is. Yeah. It feels more fun. It feels fun to clap people and announce people. And yeah, we got all kinds of positive stuff here on the on the walls. So yeah, it's great. We have fun. And now we have a bidet. So we're just constantly, <laughs> constantly up leveling around here. <laughs> um, and one of my favorite things of all time was at one point, three people, three actor friends of mine, uh, and regulars here at laughing vikings at the time were cast in the same thing you, the three of you oh, oh, oh yeah oh you're talking about me i'm like that's cool yeah 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 <laughs> yeah so you do you want to explain that story what it, what it was for that so was wedding that was planners yeah wedding planners yeah i actually auditioned for a different project by the same uh studio um and it was my first ever audition uh at La laughing vikings as a bride and right. I'm feeling really, really good about it and never heard back about that project. And then I got a direct booking on that, a studio's new TV show. They offered me a direct booking uh, for a show called the wedding planners, which was awesome. And then one of the other bridesmaids in that show, she was with, La she came into Laughing Vikings and also auditioned there, I believe, right? Two others, Laura Silovitz and Emma Leishram. All they three of all, all three of you. So you guys got like a still or like on set pictures. I think I saw you guys post it. Right. I, I, now I don't know that they did all the like that you all did your auditions here at the thing, but it was like three of our regulars that were all in one scene was just hilarious for me to see. It was one of the, like one of my favorite moments to be like, Oh, I know all of them and they're all doing it at once. Have, they're they're all living awesome. I love those girls. Yeah, it was great. It was great. So yeah, check out uh, the wedding planners and you'll see Laura Silovitz, Emma Leishram and Kat all in one shot. That's right. Uh, Such a seren small serendipitous. Yeah, it was great. World. Like Jade, when I, I just worked on the 48 hour film challenge uh, with Jade last year and you came up and he's like, I love that guy. Oh, nice. Yeah, I, I did. Um, I had a role in one of his features last year, like probably it was now it's been maybe two years ago. I lost track of time. How long ago? I feel like COVID year was like 10 years. So I know, like, you know, time's irrelevant. At this seven, point. 17 years ago, I once did something. <laughs>